In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to create a grass in Blender and I am pretty sure that after watching this tutorial, you will learn how to create this, this and this. So if you want to learn how to create all these grasses, then watch the tutorial till end. So let's get started. First we have to download the grass texture, just open up the google and search grass blade texture and you will find a grass blade texture in the google images just click right click on it and click on save image as and rename it as your choice and you may can browse it into a different location also just that we have downloaded it open the blender and delete all things and add a reference image of the grass which we have downloaded we will use it as a reference image and also as the texture add a plane just rotate it along the x-axis place it so that it will be visible to you just like that go into edit tab and move it along the z-axis so that the origin point will be right at the bottom just like that and start modeling the grass using some loop cuts and some proportional editing and you may can use the knife tool for loop cut press s plus g to make it straight just like that and start modeling it by extruding it and scaling it and moving it it's very simple and you doesn't need to work uh, perfect while creating a grass because we don't want as same grass as it is in the texture we don't want that so duplicate it for creating another so that your most of the time will not go in creating a grass in, like into scratch right from the scratch use the proportional editing for matching the grass blade to the another texture just like this and we don't want many grass like we don't want dry grass and pale yellow grass so i am just modeling the green grass for this type of grass which we are creating just model it and place it go into the edit tab and press u and click on the project from view go into the shading tab and click new choose the render engine to be cycles and if you have gpu choose gpu press ctrl t if you have enabled the node wrangler or add-on and if you doesn't just enable it into the preferences add the grass texture which we have choose as the reference just by clicking that you have added it and now go into the uv editor and place the grass blade texture as it is in the texture and you doesn't need to be very perfect for creating this because we don't want a perfect grass we don't want the same grass as nature because nature has definite grass blade and we can't create it so after creating this you will find this as like this and if there is any dark spot or any black color then just make the UVs perfect now we'll add a translucent uh, translucent shader to it just add the translucent shader and select it it will take some time so now we have got it and it will look pale if we slightly go into this view it's just because the sun rays are passing through it so now for creating the grass blade use the individual origins and start scaling down it in the x-axis and also in the z-axis this process is one of the most important process because it if you doesn't scale it down it will not look as a real grass so follow my process and add some curvature to it just like i do and we are going to be changing it curvature later you don't need to be perfect if you are 
adding some curvature to it using the proportional editing as for creating a nature you always don't need to be perfect because nature doesn't things uh, looks to be perfect and we don't need to be perfect add plane add some subdivisions and then go into the wet plane wet paint mode and add a wet paint layer to it just like that go into the particle system add a hair choose the vertex groups no not in the length just now click on the advance and then click the rotation and press global z because we want rotation in the z direction choose all of them and press ctrl g to make them group and add a suitable name to it as your choice just do that and select the collection and select the grass blades we have a lot of grass here we don't want that for that we'll choose 148 you may can choose around 200 also but i want 148 as a grass blades and just do that and add some rotations random rotations and face and randomize it it is not looking too curvy because the grass is curvy we want some curveness to it so we'll add some curveness to it also so it will look curvy because curvy grass is in the nature and we want the, not the grass as it is in the nature but a similar grass so now it is looking perfect for me so but we'll add a skill randomization after it it is looking perfect we'll add a hdri by pressing environment texture and use any of the hdri as your choice so now it's looking quite good but we'll make some variations of the clumps for creating it just duplicate it and choose the two button so that it will be different and if you doesn't click on the two button the boat will act as the same object means as the same if you do any changes in this part it will be happen changes in the another part also so don't do any mistake and add some randomization in the all clumps by adding some wet paint randomization and also particle system randomization as your choice just make the grass blade looking good for separating it from the plane make them apply and join them if you join them they are very dense so click on the ctrl c and open the another blender and after deleting all in the another blender press ctrl v and choose one of the grass blade here and press ctrl j we are just duplicating it and we are just copying it from the original blender which we are using and pressing ctrl v in the another blender this process is very important because if we make them con uh, joined in this then they will be more denser but i will make it join the smaller one in this because i want some denser grasses also then just follow the same steps for creating the denser grass also just do like that and we do have but i will paste it in the original blender and you may can delete all the things or you may can hide it also but i don't want it so i will delete it and so that to manage your workspace just manage it and make all the grass looking perfect place all the grass uh, at the one direction so that it will look good this is an optional step you don't need to do that if it doesn't want a clean and sweep workspace watch into material mode how it is looking it's looking good i'll quickly show you how to create a grass field for that just add a plane and follow my steps as i talk to you just make the collection of the grass clumps 
and give it a name like grass plum or as your choice and then we'll add some material to our ground for that just add a node wrangler add-on i have already selected it and add the texture which i am using i have put a link in the description to download all the texture and other things which i am using and you unwrap it and make it large and we'll watch it is too large uvs so i'll make it small and start adding some hair particle systems to it and we'll now add the grass collection to our ground we'll choose the grass blade the ground is little longer so we'll scale it down or you may can use the bigger grass ground also but it will make our PC hang so I will recommend you to make it smaller and if you fall into any problem of any grass blade you may can use the proportional editing to solve it because while creating a grass you may can fall into a say origin problem because the origin is not at the middle point and maybe the grass uh, seems to rotate in the different direction this happens to many of the people but doesn't it doesn't need to be worry just rotate the grass the ground and now it's looking perfect i think we'll add advance and choose the rotation type to be global z and we'll add some face and randomization in the face also and now it's looking perfect so now i will place them into the bottom side and watching and start some adding some another settings to it i have removed the face and randomization so i'm doing it again and now i will add a interpolated children and it's looking very good add a camera add some randomization to your plane by using the proportional editing you may can sculpt it also but i will not because we don't have huge time and watch it into the render view and go into the random panel settings and choose the color management to be high contrast or medium contrast as for your choice make the display amount to be 8 and also the render amount because 8 shows seems to be suitable in this grass blade add an empty to add the depth of field and select the camera now and into the camera choose the depth of field to be plain and do some changes into HDR by going into the materials tab and choosing the world randomize it as for your wish so that it will look good the grass is now looking very good hit render and watch how it is looking do some compositing in the photoshop and here's we have a final result so i just added a sun rays to it in the photoshop and just do that and i have not added any other thing and after watching this tutorial maybe you will start creating your own projects and maybe you will create some tutorials on this and i'll wish to see how you create the your grass so just show me your projects how you created your grass if you watch the tutorial and dm me on the instagram i'll add the link in the description of my instagram just dm me there just message me and send me your work and thanks for watching this video bye